Hey everyone, I hope that you're having a really great week. As you've read by the title, I'm filming my first year of uni experience as a whole year, because I have filmed previous videos that are like uni related, which I will link below, like my freshers experience if you want to check those out, but I hope that you enjoy watching this video. So I'm going to be talking about this video in sections because I have written a little list on my phone. I'll do first semester, second semester and then third semester at my uni. So first semester really consists of you meeting new people. Um, for me it was a massive blur the first two weeks because I was so overwhelmed with the amount of people I was meeting and the different environment that I was living in. I was living on my own for the very first time. I was having to be accountable for all my money, everything like that, making sure I regularly checked my bank account to know how much was in it, how much I was spending. My mum very kindly put together a cash flow for me. She does that for a job and so it was quite easy for her to just come up with one and she did rough estimates of how much I was spending per week and I would, every single thing I would buy, I would write down on my laptop in the spreadsheet and I'd keep all my receipts um, for at least the first month because I just wanted to make sure I could keep a track on what I was spending and how much I was spending and if I needed to um, save in certain areas but that was really useful but my main thing for semester one was that it was just a massive blur I can hardly remember the first month because I was so overwhelmed and having to take everything in, learning the new environment in a whole new place that I'd never been to before. I'd only visited like three or four times, but apart from that I didn't know my way round to the shops and things like that. And I remember having to work out that it was much better getting an Asda delivery than carrying shopping back because I go to the University of Winchester, which is complete hills. It was not fun for the first two weeks having to buy food in town, which was like a 10 minute walk downhill to then walk up the hill with like four bags of shopping which included orange juice which was heavy things like that you just have to explore for the first few weeks really just take a trip down into town with friends or on your own find out little alleyways ask other people the quickest ways to town and things like that it also takes quite a while to find the lecture theatres and seminar rooms so definitely in the first few weeks make sure that you take into account that you're gonna it's gonna take you longer to get there and find the rooms because you don't want to turn up late because oh my gosh it gives me an anxiety attack turning up late with everyone suddenly looking at you no that is not what I wanted so I always left like a good 15 minutes so that I could find the room or someone that could help me find the room as I've said in my other videos make sure that you go to the icebreaker sessions because this is when you'll get to know the people who are on your course for the whole three years or four years depending on the course that you're doing and it's just a really nice way to meet people and get to know people and be able to find people who are like you who you can sit with and things like that in lectures so that is a really important point. Before actually coming to university I knew that I wanted to print out loads of photos of my friends from home because for me that was a massive comfort because I knew that if I had them in my room I'd be able to look up and see them and things like that and it was just really comforting for me so I made sure that I got some photo paper. Best place to get photo paper from is actually the pound store. I got two packs which was like I think a hundred and I used the printer at home which was not the best idea because it did use up all the ink but it was fine because yeah my mum didn't seem to mind so it was fine but yeah that was a really good thing to do. There are a couple of websites I know that do photos for free. I might be able to find out. If I do I'll link them in the description bar below so that you guys can use them as well but that is a really important thing that I had because I wanted loads of pictures in my room of all my friends and all the good times that I had. So obviously in semester two you have just come back from Christmas and for me I was so happy to go back because I had had enough of my mum being like where are you going? What are you doing? What time will you be back? Blah 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 blah. Um, which obviously you don't get at university but when you're at home and you're just going to meet a friend my mum would always text me like where are you when are you coming back and I just missed my independence so much and not having someone there like constantly going on like I really appreciate the fact that she's bothered but it's just you miss the freedom and you miss being able to choose the food that you want and cook the food that you want and go out when you want and things like that so when I came back I was really pleased with that obviously you've also made friends in the first semester so you have those friendships and you know your way around the university and things like that so it's not quite as daunting you're more comfortable and it's just for me it was a much better semester because of the fact that I was more comfortable and I'm one of those people who I hate change so for me I was all settled in and things like that so that was really lovely. Another thing that for me was a massive issue and I know for quite a lot of people was a massive issue was housing. It is not fun 
because it's so much drama you don't know if you're going to get a house that you want because there's always a mass of people wanting to get them um, I tried to get a four bed house with three girls who I now am only ending up living with one of them because it was so difficult to get a hold of a house that we wanted that fitted all the stuff that we like the criteria that we wanted um, and the prices and things like that because there are some landlords who really do save ridiculous amounts for a deposit I know some of my friends have actually had to hand over masses of money but I was quite lucky that mine was quite low in comparison to other people but I think it's because of the company I'm with so definitely research the different companies of the uh, student accommodation that you can go for because of the fact that there are some that are really well known there are some that I found on Facebook that I've been looking at houses for and people like do not go with them they don't come and fix things when they break and things like that so I was like I'm not going with them I can't chance that but I'm really lucky that I am actually living with three people on my course they're all girls we're all really lovely and I'm really excited to live with them next year and I think it's gonna be a great time we're like 10 minutes from uni I've got like a double bed which is a luxury in comparison to my single bed which was tiny at uni um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to next year and I will probably stay in this house for my third year as well if it's a really good house which I think it is because the girls who previously were there said it was amazing and it looks lovely so yeah the probability of me staying there for two years is very likely and at my uni in third semester it is just um, like evaluation week or you go back just to have exams I was really lucky that all my exams were either before Christmas and before um, second semester ended and so I had no work to do for the month off that I had um, and then I came back in April for literally two nights to collect results and go to a careers event so for me it made perfect sense to pack up loads of my stuff from my halls and move it at the end of semester two when my mum came and picked me up so when I went back for like two nights literally I didn't have very much there I didn't have any of my clothes because of the fact that I'd taken them all home but it was really weird the fact that everyone else was working and I still have friends working now my friend Fran who goes to Oxford is working because she's doing medicine working really hard so I literally have six months off but I have been doing something I have been working so that is what I have been doing and earning money which is nice instead of being in debt um, so yeah it's been nice to earn some money but I haven't really known what to do with myself because loads of my friends have been away so it's a bit boring when they're not here but I've tried to keep working and I'm looking forward to them all coming back and so when I went back to collect my results I had passed all my tests and my exams and things like that which was really good I was super happy with the results that I got I had a great first year I'm really looking forward to moving into second year and I hope that you have enjoyed this video hearing about my first year at university I will probably do one of these next year after my second year just so I can maybe compare but I really hope that you have enjoyed this and I hope that you subscribe and like this video if you did and I will see you in my video next week bye <laughs>